Ada, what was Chica doing in this palace the day your father died? Mother, I didn't see him come into the palace. And I didn't even see him when he was leaving. He is your boyfriend. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't know that he came to this palace that day? Mother, how? 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 How am I supposed to know? I mean, I was with you on that faithful day. So why all these questions? Besides, we don't even know if this picture right here is correct. The cook drew it. He is a very clever person to have remembered the face he saw that day. Ada, I warned you about this hooligan. I warned you. Now he has killed your father. Mother, he did not do it. He did not kill my father. Chuka cannot hurt a fly. My father died of food poisoning. Which was given to him by your boyfriend. Which was given to him by Oluchi. Ada, if he has nothing to do with it, why did he sneak into this palace and left on an house? You have to get across to him because I will hand this picture over to the police. We're not even sure of this picture. We're not even sure if we have the right person. Not my chuka. Mama Chuka cannot hurt a fly. I mean, why, 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 why would he kill my father? Mama, my father has been nothing but generous to him. So, why would he do that? There is a mix of somewhere. There must be a mix of somewhere. This. Oh, not Chuka. Mother, he can't do it. Chuka cannot hurt a fly. Okay. We are over. We? Hey. Are you speaking on her behalf or a spokesperson? We are hungry. Mm -hmm. Come on, give the word. Don't, don't shout at me. Who are you shouting at? Huh? Eh? When I know the shame, say that man, they, they, they cook a seven for here. When I know the shame. You are the one that is not ashamed of yourself coming to work as cook. Hey. Woman, man, like you. Hey, don't insult me. Why would I insult Don't you? insult me. Ha. Okay. I am hungry. Come and set to me. In it's fact, possible. no food for you again. Eh. Let me talk out. Eh. Sign and sealed. No problem. Don't worry. Come, let's go and report him to the queen. You see your life? What else do you know how to do? <laughs> we are not ashamed. You push should be ashamed of yourselves. See this one, no. It is a big cook. I see the lady. Like this is your food, is sweet. Then they talk nonsense. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, let's go. Go, Joe. See nonsense. Oh, that's a big cook. They can't play as a cook in this in this place. This is a big. Look at two people. Under a corner, corner. They are lah. They are lah. They are lah. See, for you to remove my cap, where? We na kuwe mukuwefi. Or kuwefi, I will I will report you to the queen. That's an insult to me. An insult to my manhood. You just insulted my manhood. Book more boom for Nisi. We not to leave you here. Eh? Not more boom for Nisi. Mr. Badro. Mr. Badro. Hey. Busu tell you Ben, town no bendida. Ya town no bendida. Diala, diala. Hello. I 
you doing on that song? Oh, I'm seeking answers from God. And he must answer me today. Hi. See, I know that what happened is not right. And I understand that you're heartbroken. Eh? No. But you've been working there for a while now and they've not been paying you. It's as good as you're not working. It's okay. But you don't know my pain. The annoying part is what they accused me of. I did not do it. I know. And I feel your pain. Hmm? See, what is happening? It's a sign that God has not forgotten you. He's not done with you yet. Eh? There's still life. There's still life? Mm -hmm. There's still life. Mama, is this life? Is this thing what you call life? Mama, are we just living or we're merely existing? We are just existing, Mama. No. We are just existing. No, no. See, whichever way you choose to say it, all I know is that we are living by God's grace. And because there is still God, there is still hope. Once there is life, there is hope. There is no hope. No, there is. Once there is life, there is no hope. There is no hope. There is no hope. Once there is life, there is hope. Let's go. Let's go. Mama, I'm suffering too much. Mama, I'm suffering too much. Who did I offend? What did I do to you? It's okay. I'm suffering too much. No, 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 no. I'm suffering too much. I'm suffering too much. I'm suffering too much. It's okay. It's okay. See, everything will be fine. I promise you. Mama, this pain is too much. So far, there is good. There is good. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. What? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up your dirty mouth! You're hungry, you're hungry! Do I look like food? Do I look like food to you? Will you get inside? Get out! Go to the farm! Go to the farm, your maids are there! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go to the farm! <laughs> Shut up your mouth! If I if I come there and meet you, if I meet you there, I will deal with you. Better shut up! Shut up! Shut! You signed for me. Yes, I did. Did you hear from your boyfriend? Was my boyfriend. Not anymore. But it didn't change the fact that you had a boyfriend that murdered your father. Mom, I I decided I... to withdraw that information from the police. Because it's going to be a shameful and embarrassing thing. That's the princess fiance murdered her father. I dare say. Oh God. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for not selling me out. Thank you for not telling the police about this. Thank you. Oh, but you have to seal your mouth. Don't allow your brother to hear about this. Because he will not be happy about it. He will not be happy with me for withdrawing such information from the police. So, okay? What, what about, what about the, the cook? Que 
Kevin told me how you suited that thing over nothing. I'm begging you, what is going on? Mama, that boy is becoming stupid and he nags all the time. And I'm not going to tolerate it from him or anybody. How can he be disturbing my peace, begging for food every time? The one he provided or the one he did not? Is that why you shouted at him? Makagenezi? Because he demanded for his rights. What makes it his right? What? Ha! Abigail, you brought that child into this world. I don't know how because you have refused to tell me who the father of this boy is. I am losing my patience. Abigail, I don't know what is going on actually where your life is heading to. And I don't even have a clue of how we're going to survive in this house. Oh, please. I was here all by myself. And you came. I don't need this right now. Mama, please. Don't be like Kelvin. I don't, I just want to think about my life. I don't need this right now, you need please. Need it, you need it. Because you have been avoiding the conversation, this conversation for a very long time now. You have, you don't want to tell me the father of this child. Up here, and I'm fast losing it. Here and now, you can go more here. Abegeli, you're walking out of me up here. And the banana is here. Abegeli! Abegeli! To this, begging for arms. What is it? Sandra, you don't understand. I've been begging since. I've been begging in private. Now I have to go public. No. No. <laughs> Look at someone that came out with second class upper. Now you are eating from hand to mouth. What is happening? <laughs> I'm not just eating from hand to mouth. That one is even better. Because the ones that have been giving me, they're not giving me again. I'm not eating off people's generosity. Hi. Well, I wish I can help you as my colleague. <laughs> Honestly, this is so unfair. This is so bad. And I heard they stop paying you because of that stupid prince, but. All because he wants to sleep with you. Like, what is happening? Why is everybody so mean and wicked? I don't blame him. 
I don't blame him at all. I blame God. I blame God for allowing all this to happen to me. Hey. Where have I gone wrong? What mm -hmm. did I do to suffer like this? What have I done to this God? It's okay. You need to stop crying, okay? Like I was really in pain when I heard of your dismissal. You see that girl? That girl is so, so wicked. But don't worry. I am observing her closely. She will pay for everything she did to you. <laughs> Sandra, I've forgiven the girl a long time ago. You know why I've forgiven that girl? Because God, they said he's our God. How can God sit there comfortably and watch me it's suffer? It's okay. God always comes true. Oh God. You Look at my child, he's at home, he has not eaten anything. I can't even oh, feed my family. Lord. He always comes true. He's, 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 he's not coming. He's coming. He's not coming. He's not coming. Please. Please. So, my queen, don't be offended. Uh, there's this question that I want to ask you. Go ahead. Uh, it's about the drawing that I made. I, I mean, were you able to give the drawing to the police? Have they started the investigation? Uh, and, uh, Will you shut up and mind your business? Why are you so interested in my husband's death? Are you the one that killed him? No. No, my queen. No. Then mind your business. Stop asking irrelevant questions. Go back to work. I have given it to the police. And I am sure they are working on it now. Allow them to do their job. Allow me to mind my husband in peace. Stop asking nonsense questions all the time. Now get out. Get out! I am I'm sorry, your majesty. Forgive me. Out! I'm out of it. Nonsense. It is obvious the queen is hiding something from me. How do you mean? The drawing that I made. She refused telling me what she did with it. After I gave it to her. She even warned me to stop disturbing her about the mother investigation. Mwanko. Mama. Mwanko. I thought I told you to not go further without your investigations. You put yourself into trouble. Mwanko. Mom, do you want to put yourself into trouble? Mama? Hey! Mama, why can't you encourage me to do something useful with my life for once? At least for once, Mama. Haba! Eh? Stop that before you put yourself into trouble. Stop it! You get yourself into trouble. What is all this? Hey, Mom, Stop, Ukwano! Mama, I've heard you. I've heard you. You, you, you like discouraging someone, and I don't know why you are like that. But as for me, eh? Me, I will not give up. I am not going to give up. I must get to the root of this matter till I get the actual murderer of the king. Yes! Mwankwa? Mama? Mwankwa? Mwankwa? Mama, you're still here. Mama, you've not gone to work. That's true. Not going there is not working. <laughs> Mama, I understand, but you have to go there now. Then to lock it up like that. Mm -mm. I'm even thinking of leaving the shop entirely and sell off my old machine and see if someone can buy it. When did you make such decision? Last night. And when I sell the machine, the money I will raise it from there will stand leave this town. We will leave to uh, where? I don't have a job. And you, you don't have either. So how do we survive? That is the only option. <laughs> Mama, hmm? this your decision is scary and so do you. Okay, so what do you have an option? Hey, I'm going to look for work. I'm dressed up already. Let me have to the tire Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, go back to your work. 
Oh, mm -hmm. go to the shop. I'll, I'll leave that shop. I'll leave that shop. You will not leave that shop. Oh, is his name? Maga. Sweetie, <laughs> go back to your work. Go back to the shop. Yeah? Don't worry. We'll make it. Oh. We'll make it. Oh, yeah. go back to the shop. <laughs> I went to his place, but he was nowhere to be found. It means he's the one that killed your father. That is why he has been avoiding you. But why? Why? My father was nothing but good and generous to him. Why would he pay him back with this? With... He should be the one to answer this question. It's all I know. <clears throat> In short, let me not talk too much. Mother, don't you think we should report him to the police? No. We can't. I think by doing that, it will make the story to go everywhere that your man killed your father. And it will bring a lot of shame to you. So I wouldn't want us to go to that extent. For now. So we, we should let him go scot-free. Is that what you're implying? Why, why should we let a man who killed my father Run freely on the streets. Why? Eyes, eh? What must you go near me? You want to kill yourself? What am I living for? What am I living for? Everything seems to be working against me. Oh. <laughs> be stop saying that. You still have your breath. And God has not given up on you. So why do you want to give up on yourself? You don't have to give up on yourself, okay? Sandra, do you know what it means? Do you know what it means to be confronted? With the reality of no maze of livelihood. Do you know, Sandra? Hey, hey is that why you want to kill yourself? Eh? Is that why, it, <laughs> why, why you want to make me childless? After all I've done to support you. I don't know what, ma. I don't know what, ma. Oh, I'm still disappointed in you. Eh? I am disappointed in you. Do you want mama to die? Hey. No. Oh, you're making mama to cry all the time. I don't know what to help her. No I only want her to help my mother. She's suffering too much. I just want to help. We know you want to help. Oh, oh, the oh, burden is too much on you. No, I just want no. to help. I'm not complaining. No, she's not complaining. <laughs> okay. No complaining. Just take care of yourself, please. I'm yes, sorry. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay, you'll be fine. Okay. We understand. You want to help, but you'll be fine. So take care of yourself as well. Move your wallet. My prayers, my prayers. Honestly, I, I, I must say, you, you are very scarce these days. Very scarce. Nko, my prayers. I'm a very busy man. I have businesses to take care of. And sometimes, it is very stressful. Oh, I understand. I understand. So how's it going? Uh, my prince, I was wondering if you tell me, uh, 
I, I, I don't know if the police were able to apprehend the guy. Uncle, what guy? I, I made a sketch of him. The guard that I saw the day your father died. I made a drawing of what he looks like and gave it to the queen. You made a drawing and gave it to my mother? Yes, my parents. Uh, and how come nobody told me? Uh, I'm, I'm even surprised to hear this. Because she told me she has given the drawing to the police to help with the investigation. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Nko, my prince. Are you trying to say you saw a stranger the day my father died? My prince. I saw him rush out of the building shortly after the gas ran inside to help out. I saw him. I saw him. Mother of Shomanguya. important I'd like to ask you and I need you to be honest with me brother who who got you upset I mean I have never seen you talk to mother like that hello oh hi oh really where are you? At the airport. Okay, I'll come get you shortly. Just wait. Alright. Who is that? Belinda just arrived in Nigeria. I need to go pick her up. That's okay. Alright, Mother, I can bet my life that stupid cook must have told him about the drawing. It's not good. Mama, I'm so sorry the way I behaved. I've been so stupid and unreasonable not to notice the sacrifices you've made on my behalf. Please, mother, find your place. Find your place in your heart to forgive me. I have. I have. Mama, I've kept so many secrets away from you. Starting from the time I became pregnant. Why? Eh? why did you choose to disgrace me? What have I done to you? Obegeli, what have I done to you? Why did you choose to disgrace yourself and not me? Eh? I did my best in training you up to be a decent girl. What? Others went for NYS and came back with a job. But my other that went there, I came back with an unwanted pregnancy. I'm not going to do no man, no? I'm not going to do no no? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Accident what? What? Accident? Why didn't you tell me all this while? What, Begeli? Why didn't you tell me? No wonder I refused to come home. Because you wanted to keep the pregnancy. Yes. Why? I wanted the pregnancy to mature because I know you will not allow me to keep it. So why would I allow you? 
Why will I allow to keep such an, a, a dishonorable thing? You are a disgrace, Bob Ekele. You are a disgrace. So you went and lost your virginity to a man who isn't available to marry you. If you let me pay you up, Jarelli up, to buy me. Mama, I told you it was an accident. Instead of you to 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 pity me, instead of you to tell me to pity me, you're here, you're here judging me. Why are you judging me, Mama? Why will I pity you? Obegeli, why will I pity you when you choose to keep the pregnancy? Why? Why? Tell me why I, 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 I have to pity you. Mama, I see that you don't want to understand me. It's okay. And also, you don't want me here. First thing in the morning, I will leave your house, if that's the case. First thing, Eteka, leave now. Abegeli, I want to leave my house now, since you see no reason in coming home with an unwanted pregnancy. Anomano! You are, you, are, you, are, you are pregnant for someone, you don't even know where, you are, where he is. Hey! 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 Oh, why me? Why me? Why me? I saw your daughter walking out with a bag in tears and she's pregnant. Now you know why she's crying. I hope you didn't say that out of your house. Why won't I? Why won't I? Eh? When she went there, her mates went for NYSA and came back with good jobs. She went there, opened her legs for, her, for a man she doesn't know and he got her pregnant and she came back to my own house with an unwanted pregnancy. But no, no, no. This is so sad. But well, that is not enough reason for you to send her out of the house. Hmm. No, she's your daughter. And no mother drives away her child. Any mother that's, that is disappointed in her child can drive her out. No matter how much you are disappointed in her, remember she's your daughter. She's your blood. What will people say when you find out tomorrow you didn't see her? You should seek for her, look for her, wherever she is. She needs your care. The whole care that she needs, and she needs your care. Because you did not buy when we before, people. Look for her. She's your only daughter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You pain me so much. I can't even imagine making such mistakes. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Remember your condition. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Sit. Sit. That's all. I have forgiven you. Thank you. No, no, it's okay. I have forgiven you. Nobody is above mistake and nobody is perfect. Just I was disappointed. I wasn't expecting this from you. But all the same, thank God for you. And thank God you're back. Mama, I wish I can turn back the hands of time. Seriously. No problem. Not to worry. Eh? I'm just thanking God because if you had come back when you nearly got this pregnancy, I would have forced you to remove it. But all the same, I thank God you kept the pregnancy and I'm happy for you. I'm happy. From the depth of my heart, I am happy. And I'll be there for you. But that was an insane decision. Because I don't even know how to take care of this child when he comes. Don't worry. So far there is God. We will do it together. Mm -hmm. I trust God. He will do it. Trust in God. We will make it together. I will be there for you.
Begini, begini. I almost had a stroke waiting for you. What about you? Mama, I'm sorry. I went to town in search of a job. Town? Yes. What is your condition? What about you? Eh? About you? Town? I'm sorry. You know you can't do this alone. We need money. Hey, we need money, so I have to look for a job now. Please. I'm not complaining now, Begin. I wasn't complaining. Eh? I didn't want something to happen to you and the child. If I may what do you want me to do? Eh? Begin, I don't like you too. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, fault. Before you leave this house or do anything, seek for my consent. Open it, Ania. I will. Ania, let's go inside. Inside. Open it. Open it. Eh? Open it. Let me mention it. Hey. Ah! I'm back. Ever since I gave birth to Kelvin, you've been the source of my support and strength without even knowing who the father is. Thank you, Mama. I've been the one keeping the truth away from you. What truth? The truth about how I got pregnant. But you said it was a mistake. But I never got a chance to tell you who is responsible for my pregnancy. No matter who the person is, I am sure God is punishing him for putting you in this condition and abandoning Mama, you. Please listen. Um, Kelvin is awake. His food is on the cupboard. Hmm? My dear. You are welcome to Nigeria. Thank you very much, my queen. Indeed, there's no place like home. I've missed this palace a lot. Uh, I understand. It feels so refreshing when you're back to your motherland. You are welcome. Thank you very much, my queen. London looks so good on you. Ah, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, my queen. I've missed you all. <laughs> Did you miss me? Of course, my Wahala princess. <laughs> Why not? I missed you. <laughs> You're welcome. Let me get the cook to prepare something special for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, my queen. <laughs> so. Cool. My prince. Can you do that drawing again? The one that I gave to your mother? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. My prince, I, I won't lie to you. It might not be perfect. But I'll try to make it accurate. That's good. Uh, but I thought the police have a copy of it. Nko, my prince, just do what I asked you to do. But my mother must not know about it. Okay, my prince. Okay. 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 Hey! Hey! I can't have blood. I'm going to come top leg. <laughs> oh! Where are these guys? Huh? Prince, I never go get top leg before. Top leg! <laughs> wow. The food was delicious. And you said the food was prepared by a man? Oh, yes. Um, the new cook. He's very good. Oh, 
So what of the previous one? Oh, oh, she... She's on leave. She's on leave. She's on leave. So we decided to bring in this person to cover her up. I mean, this one is good. Why not make him stay full time? As a matter of fact, I would like to learn from him. Uh, that would be nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. <laughs> I mean, he's so good. As in 100% good. Yes. <laughs> mm. So I've missed you so much. Same here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was more than cold out there in London without you. I know. But I was going to visit next day. I told you on the phone, right? Yeah, but I couldn't wait. So I decided to come back as a sign of proving my love for you. That's great. I'm so glad to have you back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same here. So tell me, what's next? Um, I'll be going to see my parents tomorrow. And after that, I'm coming back here for you. Oh, that's mm. beautiful. Can I join you? I'd like to see your parents too. Is that oh, okay? Wow, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Thank All you. All right. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> I have something for you. Really? Yeah. I I worked in National Television Authority in Ilori. So there was a day we had guests from the East for a television program. I was working there as a call member and just to understand that if you choose not to tell me how you got pregnant or who got you pregnant, I have forgiven you and moved on. Oh my, no. But I've, this secret has been long there. And I want to tell you about it so that I, 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 it's, it's okay. bothering me. It's okay. It's okay. Just be sure that you know what you're doing. Are you sure you want to say it? Are you sure? Yes, Mama, let me say it. Among the people that came, Your prayer, your, your God is alive. Your God is alive, Mama. Oh, this God is alive. Oh, what is it? Hey. What is it? Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Do you, wait, wait, wait. Do you remember that small girl in your class, Chamaka? Baby, stand up now. Just, 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 just answer me. Do you remember that girl? The one that made them sack me. Yes, the one that made them sack you. Baby, please, just talk to me. Do you remember the girl? I know now. Baby, it happens that that girl lies a lot. She oh. lies a lot. She accuses people a lot. Like she will lie, she will go and tell her useless parents and they will come and react. That girl is a liar. So I now called her today. I now punished her. Punished her? I what? punished her. I punished her. Then see what happened. She now confessed that you did not do anything to her. Hey! <laughs> She said she hates you so much. She said that you only shout at her whenever you are in class. So she has to frame you. Hey! She has to frame you. She has to accuse you falsely. I went and told the parents. Hey. What an evil child. That girl is very, very bad. Eh? That girl, if you see what will happen, eh? As I'm talking to you now, any moment from now, the principal will come to your house. They said they will come to your house, come and apologize. They come and request for you to come back to school oh. and start teaching again. Oh, come back to which school? To which school? That nonsense school, the one that don't pay. No, I'm no, not going back no, again. No, 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 baby, we're not talking about pay. Keta, I had the who pay. We are not talking about, they said they will give you half of the money. Half of my money, they will give you half of your money and the, and you will start teaching again and everything will be... See, baby, see, let me tell you, the truth of the matter is that just be happy. You are now free from the accusation. 
Hey. Go rejoice it. <laughs> My friend, rejoice it. Hey. Go. Hey, thank God. Thank God you, Jesus. God is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Only one, only one. Hey. Hey. Good. You serve the living God. Amen. Oh. Hey. My friend is free. Hey. Chukwa. Hi. Ah, good day, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh no, I'm not from royal home. Though from rich parents, but certainly not royalty. Um, even though I have hope of becoming one soon. Oh, you are already royalty, ma. You smell royalty, royalty. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Um, is there a certain way royalty smells? Yeah, exactly. If rock is yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. Um, I was told you're the new cook. Oh uh, yes, yes. Oh my god. See, I give it to you hundred um, percent. You're so good. Oh, oh <laughs> thank you so much for the compliment. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um I would like you to teach me how to cook so I can be cooking for my husband by the time he marries me. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a problem? Uh, ma, I, I, I just got this job newly. Okay. And you really want to sack me? It's not fair. I don't understand. Eh? Sack, sack you how? I only said you teach me how to cook, not sucking you. Hey, ma, don't you know that if I teach you how to cook now, the queen might not be needing my service again. I'll, I'll, there will be no need of me again. I understand <laughs> me. <laughs> no, 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 you must be a comedian. I said you will teach me how to cook so that I'll be cooking for my husband. That means you'll be cooking for the rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that it? Uh, that's uh, it. So I, I didn't see it that way. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will gladly teach you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, by the way, the name is Belinda, not Ma. Okay, Merin yes. Merinda Ma. Oh, I said Belinda. Merinda. Belinda. Oh, 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 be, be, oh I thought you said Merinda because you know your color and Merinda <laughs> almost the same. I said Belinda. Belinda. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so when are we when uh, are we starting? Uh, we both will we'll call it um, in a jiffy. Oh, in a jiffy. In a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, let me just allow you to do your okay, thing. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll wait till now. Uh -huh. All right, thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So they have sent you to me, eh? They have sent you. It will not work for you. It will not work for you. So you want me to teach you how to cook? Eh? So that now tomorrow now they will sack me. It will work for you. You see? My car has fallen down. It will not work for you. Let me teach you. Eh? So that after teaching you now, who knows? You might even you might even cook better than me. The queen will sack me. I will not teach you. If you don't know how to cook for your husband, serve him tea or her coming. No sense. Mom, you need to hear her blabby. Saying how she's the best cook, how she knows how to cook, and how she wants to cook. I mean, who is she trying to impress? Ada. There is nothing wrong with that. Mother, everything is wrong with it. Oh, yes. If she's going to be your son's wife, automatically that makes her royalty. Then she has no business being in the kitchen. Then again, she was also saying how she's a better cook than I am. Why? How? Ah, I Why would she say things like that? Mother, she's beginning to get on my nerves. She was only joking. I do not entertain such jokes. If she's going to be royalty, then it is high time she started learning how to speak. Ada, that girl is your brother's choice of bride. And there is nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, you have to start liking her. We stand to gain so many things if they get married. Mm -hmm. Remember, she is from a very wealthy family. You're right. So, my darling, 
Think about that and stop beefing, okay? Hmm? Why would she say she's a better cook? Why would she say that? She was joking. She wasn't joking, mother. I heard her loud and clear. I saw her countenance like she meant every word of hers. How is she a better cook than I am? Okay, okay, I can see that. <laughs> you guys are looking so amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, the guys in white, I love white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you girls, you look so beautiful. Okay. So, what's your name? Cecilia. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. And you? Ifoma. You look so beautiful. You? Ikenam. Okay. You? Who is them? You! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's your name? Mkwa. Oh! <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I've got something for you. Uh, oh, <laughs> so, this is for you. Thank you, man. Hey. You. Thank you for your welcome. And you. Yeah. You. And you. Thank you. I love what you guys are doing in this palace, okay? <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Right. In fact, I, I'm so overwhelmed. It's okay. It's okay. We're all okay. Now you. you guys should go back to you. Uh, thank Bye. you, Bye. 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 See you guys around, okay? Bye. 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 I think I should get married to her. But then again, I do not want to sound or look desperate. Desperate? Yeah. Where's the desperation? I mean, personally, I'm not seeing any. Go ahead and shoot your shot. What makes you think she's ready for, for this? What makes I mean, you think she's ready to get married? I mean, how would you know if she's ready if you've not uh, spoken to her about it? Shoot your shot, dear friend. You're right. But then again, I'll give her some more time because we just buried our father, you know? My prince, that's the more reason. You should go ahead with the marriage proposal and everything. I mean, your coronation is coming up pretty soon. And I wonder how your kingdom will have a king with no queen. Absolutely right. I have to pop the big question then. Yes. But then again, I need the courage. I need the courage to do that. You are the prince and an authority for that matter. So tell me, what other courage do you need? You've got it all. Go ahead, my prince. <sighs> yeah. You're right. I will. Hobby, see, you need to take that job. I'm telling you that you need to take that job because they will pay you before you will start. They will pay you your money. Before Uncle, they will pay me my money. They will definitely pay me. Didn't I work for it? As if they are doing me a favor. 
You worked for it, yes. But please, you need to just make your decision now. Before they will, they, they, they will, they will put another person on, and you will not work there again. You will now start looking for a job. Who cares? To replace you with another person. Who cares? They should replace me. I don't care whether they like or not. They, in fact, I know they have replaced me. So leave me alone. No, 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 no. no. They have not replaced you. Um, no, it was Auntie Tochi that was teaching Jess one student. So she has to combine her class and yours together. That's all. So it's better for you to just work now so that you start teaching your class. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. I'm going to think about it. Let me have my time. Let me think about it. Okay. I heard you. But before you think about it, please, think about your son before you make any decision. Think about your son. Obiageli, think about your son. I can see you're about going out. Yes. I'm going to see a friend. Okay. I'm about going out as well, so I came to see if I can borrow your car key, if you don't mind. As you can see, I'm, I'm going out with a car. Besides, there are other cars in the garage. I know, but you can use the other cars like you just mentioned. Please. I want to, to use my own car. I want to make use of your own car, please. I said I am going it's out okay, to... It's okay, it's okay. Maybe I should order a wine to... Uh, hold on a second. You can have it. Thank you very much. You're so kind. <laughs> Listen. I said, listen. I need the truth. And nothing but the truth. Did you set me up? Did you set me up? Oh, you don't want to talk? Answer me. Don't lie. Oh. You send someone to murder me. Me, Chuka. This is the worst mistake of your life. And I bet you I will decapitate your body. Did you hear me? You have just signed your death warrant. You have just signed your death warrant. I am only putting up with that attitude of hers because of you. Ada, I'm trying to wrap my head around your frustration. Why are you upset? You gave her your car key, right? She requested for it. I gave her the car because of you. Even when as I told her that I was going out with the car, she insisted, she requested for my car. She wanted my car. Just my own car. Why? We have all the cars in the garage. Why mine? Well, you gave her your car and uh, I feel you should just take it easy. But besides, are you aware she is my wife-to-be? Oh, yes. And it is high time you stopped singing it like a bird. I know. But please, tell her to watch that attitude of hers. Else we'll keep clashing in this palace. Do I need to tell you that I don't like her? Who cares if you like her or not? Do you know who that girl is? Do you know her family background? Do you know what I stand to gain or benefit if I get married to her? Listen to me. I understand your frustration, but you need to chill. In other words, you need to tolerate her excesses. Else, we're going to have issues in this palace. Are you being serious right about now? Yes, I am. You are... You choose a... 
A girl. Another girl who is in your blood over me. Well, not exactly. I'm indirectly asking you to, you know, cooperate and be wise at all. Mother, I am mad at her. I am mad at her. I am not happy. One beat. You need to see my car. She's damaged it beyond repair. I mean, she rough-handed my car so bad. And you expect me to keep quiet and just watch her? I can't keep tolerating her in this palace. You have to. For the sake of your brother and what we stand to gain. Hmm. Same story. That's not even the reason I came. The cook. What about him? Mother, I saw him making another drawing. What? Yes. How dare he? Ada, are you serious about this? Mother, I am dead serious. Take this. Use this, the small money and start up a little business that will sustain us. <laughs> All this money? Where did you get it from? From the school. Yes. They called me back. Hey! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Mama, they called me back. They paid me my salary. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm also, so that stupid girl. Sorry to cut her, to call her stupid girl. That girl. <laughs> the parents came and dashed me some money and apologized. Mm -mm. They tried, they tried. I told you that the best thing for you to do is to go back to that job. I am happy. Okay. I'm happy too that I have my job back. I'm happy. They promise that once month ends, they will be giving me my salary. Uh -huh. Now they come. Uh -huh. They don't have issues, just the principal. Yes, that man is very wicked. He's heartless. He wanted to sleep with me and I refused. Hmm? Yes. He said he's going to deal with me. He said he's going to frustrate me till I leave that school. And I promised myself that I'm not going to mess up my body till the day I'll marry. Not until he forced me and got me pregnant. Who forced you and got you pregnant? That's what I wanted to tell you before I got distracted by Sandra and my job. On that day, We were having a guest of about seven different traditional rulers from the East for a television program. And amongst them was our late king, Igwazuk. Yes. Mm -hmm. I introduced myself to him as one of his subjects. He was so happy to see me. He was so, so proud. He also introduced his friends, his fellow traditional rulers, to me. I was so excited, Mama. So excited seeing our king all the way from the east to Ilori. It was a huge television program that lasted for days. One day, I was asked by my boss to go with the driver to pick up the king from hotel. This happened eight years ago, while I was seven. Yes, just hold everything down. Okay, if I just tell you no, to take up before I come back. Yes. Come in. So yes, uh, when I come to when I when I come out take up. Yes. It's all right. Good morning, Your Highness. Oh, the beautiful copper girl. <laughs> you don't need to call me. Your Highness, we're not in the East now. Um, I know, but you're still you're still that to me. You're my king, your highness. Well, I understand. 
I am very sure that your husband to be will be mm, so lucky to have you. Because your your beauty is mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, your highness. I'm flattered. Me flatter you. Men look at you. It's all alluring, charming, so endowed. <laughs> Don't just try to smile at me because you, you're going to kill something there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, Your Highness, yes. they asked me to come pick you up. Oh, oh okay. Mm, but first, would you have a cup of tea with me? Um. I would like to want the... I insist. Let me call up the girls. Sit down. Come on. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, just get me to go. Yes. <sighs> Tell me about yourself. Oh, no, no. Let me rephrase. Tell me about your beautiful self. <laughs> okay. My name is Obiageli Uchendu, the only daughter of Mazi Uchendu. Uchendu? That's Okafo Uchendu. Yes, exactly. That's my father. You can say that again. <laughs> Okafo was, was my primary school. Mate, we were all sitting together. Really? I can't believe that late Okafo Uchendo has a beautiful daughter like this that is tearing my heart apart. Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's time to introduce myself. Seriously, you're very funny. <laughs> I am not funny. I am. I am. I am, I am funny. Who, who, who am I? He gave me his contact. He also gave, gave me some money to take care of myself. I couldn't say a word to him. I was crying deeply. And I lost my virginity to the king. Two months later, I stayed for this somehow. I went to see a doctor. And the doctor confirmed that I was six weeks pregnant. I went through the night. I thought of you, Mama. I thought of how to tell you about it, but I, I, I couldn't find the courage to meet you. I thought of how to come to you and explain to you how I failed. 
I I have to see for the deployment back to the east. I'm staying there. All I could think of was how to commit suicide. Chime eh? Kokwana. So all this happened to you. I never told you about it. I'm scared. Hey. I'm scared of how to meet you. I'm scared of how to tell you how I felt. Hey. When I go back, I, I, I had to meet Sandra, my friend. I went to her house where she was serving. I stand there with that. I think you need to call your mother and tell her. I can't tell my mother. She will skin me alive. Abiagini, you are no longer a child. Stop acting like one. Just call her, tell her. She's tough, yes, but she understand. My mother that I know will never understand. She won't. Then call the king and tell him. Huh. I'm scared though. Scared. Do you know who we are talking about? Of the course. king. Yeah, I know. He's the king, so he did not know his position before raping you. Just call him. What about the wife? The wife will kill me. I'm nobody. The wife is not going to do anything to you. Just Call them. Call him so that he will take his responsibility. He was one that got you pregnant. You need to call someone. I, I can't do that. Really? You can't? Okay. If you can't, then I will. I'll be the one to call them. Oh, please. Please, Sandra, no now. No. Don't call him. No. Do you know what you're saying? No! Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Since you don't want to call the king, you don't want to call anybody. I'm sorry. I don't have any choice but to chase you out of my house. I can't lose another person's child. So. <laughs> so nice to have you again. It's good you wish that. <laughs> oh. Is everything all right? Are, are you? What's going on? You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You should be happy. You should be happy you, you're pregnant for, for, for a king. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll marry you right away. Yes. What is it? What is going on? You don't know what is going on. Trust me, I, I, I don't. Of course, you know I can't marry you. I can't. Who says so? I'm a king and I, I, I have the right to marry as many women that I desire. And you should be happy for it. <laughs> I should be happy. Yes, I should be happy, but I'm not happy. 
Have you forgotten the tradition? A king is not meant to marry a virgin. Have you forgotten? What? I think it's a shame that I can't remember that part of tradition. Oh. But but I I I can still take care of you. I, I, I. Yes. Your Highness, seriously, if if you can be truthful to yourself. You will know that you can't change this. Besides, I don't want to be on the lips of everyone in our community that I am now the king's mistress. I don't want it. Oh my God. That's true. How would I forget about this? Wait, wait, how would I forget about our tradition? This is a huge mistake. I can't even face my mother right now. I don't even know what to tell her. Who would I tell my mom? You know, just get rid of the pregnancy. Sandra, did I hear you correctly? Like, are you being serious right now? I am. You're being serious. You're not joking. You're joking, I'm sure. Obi, I am not. The father of your child will not marry you. And you knew it. So please, just do something. He's not going to marry you. You need to do something about it. Or do, 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 do you want to tell me that you want to bring out a child into this world without a father's care? No. So just do the right thing. That's not enough justification to get rid of my child. I know that's exactly what my mom is going to say. Well, yeah, that's a wise decision. Your mother is a wise woman. Or be listen to your mother. Just listen to her advice. Because she knows he's not going to marry you. Oh, really? Sandra, please. I am not getting rid of my baby. And that's fine now. You're right. I tried with the process of trying to change our traditions so rigorous and almost impossible. If it's because of the baby, don't worry, I'll get rid of it. Never. Never. Because none of my seed will be destroyed. Mbana, now listen to me. Why not allow me to take care of you and the baby? There is no need for that. I don't get it. You defiling me is an experience I can never forget in a hurry. Which means my life can never remain the same. Yeah, I... I'm so sorry for putting you through all that. But please allow me to make life easy for you. Don't you get it? I don't need your help. I don't need your money. I don't need your care. I don't want to be the problem here. I don't want to be the one that made you start having issues with your wife. I don't want to be on their lips. The lips of the people as the king's mistress. I don't want that. Please. I just want to be left alone. Please. That's the most unfair thing to say to a man that cares for you so much. Oh, really? You care? Yes, I do. Have you forgotten so so? You were drunk. I was drunk. So you don't care. But that was how 
it all started. Oh. But now I care so much about you. Your Majesty, please. I think I've had enough of this. Okay. With due respect, Your Highness, I will appreciate it if you stop looking for me or the baby. I will take care of him or her. I don't need your help. I will be fine all by myself. Okay, please. Please allow me to help you. Please, I have to go now. Please, just don't look for me. Please. Hey. No, what are you trying to tell me? Just, just tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. I'm serious. You're not joking. Obi, I know you were unhappy when he defined you. No problem. But he offered to help. You don't understand this. I don't need his help. I don't need his care. I don't want anything from him. Really? That's it. Really? No, no, no. This is beginning to... Like... What is your problem? You are really getting on my nerves. A rich king offered to help you and you said no. No, because no, but God, what is your problem now? You don't need his help. You don't need anything. You don't need his care. Please, I don't want to hear this again. Okay, I don't you, want to. You have to hear it. Uh, I'm talking about me. Me here. I'm talking about myself. This is what I want. And all I'm saying is that I don't need anything from him. I'm beginning to like feel so bad about this. Just allow this man to help you. This is not funny at all. Honestly, I, I'm not understanding all these things again. Abi, Abi, what do you want this man to do so that you know that he's sorry? You are the one being unfair in all, 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 all these things. Just forgive him. People make mistakes and are forgiven, so forgive him. Really? <laughs> you're saying all these things because you're not the one in my shoes, right? Do you know what it, it means to be pregnant for someone you cannot even marry, do you? I would have accepted this offer. <laughs> Thank God you're not me. And I'm not you. Abby, what is your problem? Just let this slide. This man is sorry and he's ready to make amends. Why are you doing this? This man is a good man. Yes, he's a good man. Just accept him. Okay, I get the picture now. I get it. So because I'm in your house, that is why you're constantly reminding me and keep disturbing me about this issue. Right? It's fine, Sandra. It's okay. I am leaving your house, if that's the case. I'm leaving your house so that I can have my sanity back. Every time you're disturbing me about this issue, stay in your house. Obi, what? Obi! Um. I just go to your house and they say you stepped out. I don't get into the car. Obi, try and, try and understand. Obi, I, I accept it was a mistake. What, what? I am ready. I am, please. Get into the car. Keke. Get, get. Am I doing the right thing by not accepting this man to help me? 
I know I'm angry with him and there is no way I can be friends with a man I cannot forgive for what he did to me. I know Sandra isn't happy either with me for the choice right now I made. But I don't care. I hope someday she will understand. But how can I take care of this child, this baby myself? How? I'm just a copper. Anyways, there is no way pounding over this. I know that God will take care of me and my baby. I put us in God's hand. I left Sandra's lodge and squatted with another friend till I completed my service. You went through all this and you never bothered to tell me. Do you know you would have had a better life if you have accepted the king's offer? I don't want to become the king's mistress. Besides, he's dead. Did the king try reaching out to you since you left? Several times, he tried. Even when I came back to this village, he tried reaching out to me. He made all efforts, but I rejected them and warned him never to try it again. We are going to that palace to tell them that the king has a child. Mama, it's not necessary. The king is dead. Very necessary. It's an abomination. Hello? For a king's child to grow up outside the palace. So we we'll go there. Greetings, my queen, my princess. What was my response when you asked of the picture? What what was my what was, was my response? Oh, okay, you mean that of the man that I saw the day the king died, my queen? I know you are stupid, but not deaf. Uh, my queen, you said the police are on it. Good. The police are on it. And you decided to make another drawing? Um, uh, 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 um, my, my queen, it, it, um, it, it, it was a prince that asked me to... Uh, oh, shut up, you liar. Shut that thing you call a mouth. You simply started the drawing just so you could cause confusion in the palace. Simply because you're the only one who claimed to have seen the young man. Yeah, my... My, my princess, I swear I saw him. That is not the issue here. The issue is that of disrespect and disregard. You decided to make another drawing because you don't have any respect on me. You wanted to cause a confusion. And for that reason, Go and pack your things. Leave this palace immediately. Don't sit down, Ben. Now, tell me, my queen, please. Please, my queen, please. Uh, my, my princess, help me and beg your queen, please. Don't make me call the cards. Hey! Get out! Don't sit down, Ben. Tell me, no, Ben. Don't sit down, Ben. Tell me, no, Ben. Hey! My queen, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The problem now. This one you're carrying your bag, and is there any thing, any problem? Like there's no time for this. Um, please, um, I need you to deliver this to the prince. It's very important. I would have done it myself if not that the queen wants me out immediately. Please, deliver this personally to the prince. I beg of you, please, please. The way you're sounding this way, well, no problem. It's all right. <laughs> But um, sorry about your job. Uh, well, we are sorry. 
Not just me. Both of us, we are very, very sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Hmm. Boy. Why were you laughing at him like that now? It's unfair, it's a fellow man. I so were you not here when he was insulting us anyhow? <laughs> um in as much I hate to admit to I'm going to miss his food. Yes, certainly I do. Uh, true. And that guy is a big cook. Well, oh. Hi. Hi. I'm missing food, sir. And now the team will need to pay myself. <laughs> oh, but I don't they go. go. I don't go. My go. I don't miss it. face black like bamboo as they cry. The rose of them. I said it. I said it, Nkwa. I told you to shut up your mouth in that palace, but you said no. I told you to calm down. But you wouldn't listen. Now it has cost you your job. You've lost it. You see it? You said I have lost your job. Mama. Mama, I was doing the right thing. Yes. The king's spirit will not be at rest without being sure his actual killer has been exposed and brought to book. Which is the police work. But you chose to do it for them. Eh? You chose to do the police work for them. Mama, be cool. Be cool. Enough of this, you're blaming. I am not regretting my actions. Yes! I just pray that the prince will lay his hands on the drawing. Let the police do their job. Hey, you caused all this thing by yourself. Yes! I'm myself, Mama. Mama, I know. You cast it yourself. I'm myself, Mama. I know. I know. Mama, I know. Sandra, I want you to help me tell your friend here to take her son to the palace and present him to the queen. Mama, now that the king is gone, are you sure it will not cause any issue for her to go and tell the queen? The queen might react. I don't, I don't know. Exactly. They deserve to know that the late king had his son. She should tell them the story she told me. I even heard you offered her assistance during those times. And both of you kept such a thing from me. No, ma'am, I didn't do it intentionally. It was in Obiagili's position to tell you, not mine. No matter what, you shouldn't have kept something as huge as that from me. No matter what. See, please tell her to move that boy to the police. Mama, I've not decided what to say yet. In fact, I don't wish to say anything or even think of anything. Allow me now. Abegeli. Apa keni kwa nam? Apa sukwa nami uwe? Apa sukwa nami uwe begeli? Mama, what is it, self? What is it? Allow me now. What is it, mama? Is it because I'm in your house? Is it because I'm in this house? If you want me to leave this house for you, I will leave this house on half a loogie beggy. Leave me alone now. What is it? Let me rest. No, no. If you go there, I don't know. You see it? It has to see the mark, no, no. It has to mark up your girlie. Obi, it has to see the mark, and that is how she does. If you can look at how she talks to her mother. Man, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going Do as I said. Take that boy to the palace and present him there. He deserves to be there. Okay, now, now. I think your daughter is right by refusing going to the palace. Go to Imoma? Yeah. Is this a joke or what? Biko, stop. I'm serious. What if Queen does not support it? What if? Hmm. So, I should pretend it never happened, okay? <coughs> or I should pretend that the king never impregnated my daughter. Can you No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, there are many ways to approach this. One of the ways is, is this, you going to the elders, reporting to them. They are the ones to make their findings. 
then they can take the information to the um, to the queen. Not you going there to kill yourself. Oh, they quite very risky. Yeah, Gucci, Gucci. You were sense. Mm -hmm. You were sense. Mm -hmm. That is why I always call on you matters like this. Yes. You go, go. See? No, no, no. You said the fact. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Yes, mm, yes. Boy, mm. children of nowadays, they can hide information. How can your daughter hide this mm. huge information from you? Hey. All these years. You go. I was so shocked. Shocked to my marrow. These small girls, um, oh, as is well, is well, no problem. Yo, I'll do as you say. Yeah, that's what I will do. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, please, have a seat. Yeah, cook said I should give this to you. What's this? I don't know, my prince. What is he? He's gone, my prince. He's gone. Yes, my prince. Gone to where? I don't know, my prince. Oh, I don't understand. What do you mean? I brought him into this palace. And I gave him the job. So I have the right to fire him. No, mom. I totally disagree with you. You have no right to do that. By tradition, I am in charge. And you must consult me before doing anything. Yes, I know that. But what is done is done. And can never be undone. Mom, I'm not happy with you. Why did you do it? Why did I do what? Why did you fire him? What was his crime? Son, you now question my authorities. Mom, I demand an answer. And I take that as an insult. All right. I know what to do. And what are you going to do? If not, he would have asked for his head immediately. Why? Why, if I may ask? What's his crime? His only crime is that he came to show himself to you as my man. Did you hear yourself? Did you? What is the relationship? Where is the relationship? Where is it? Eh? How are you in any way of the same class without no life? Mother. It is not about class. But love. I love him. <laughs> it should be out of your mind. You should be out of your mind if you think you can marry just anybody. A low life like that. You are a princess. Have you forgotten? Mother, I know who I am. Yes, I am a princess. But that shouldn't debar me from getting married to who I want. For the interest of peace and his life, do not take him anywhere close to your father. If not, that will be his end. Mark it. 